Welcome everyone. So today we are painting some stargazer lilies and I will start sketching it here very loosely. You can look at the reference picture. So I'm doing a very loose sketch of the reference picture. So just trying to capture the essence. So here, uh, as you see in the reference picture, we have a big lily in the center. So that would be the main subject of our painting today. So I'll start painting it. Then uh, we can also uh, sketch a few more flowers and buds and leaves. But this lily would be the, uh, the main subject for us today. I got these lilies from Trader Joe's and uh, they were looking so pretty so I decided to paint them today and uh, my ho whole house is smelling so nice right now because these uh, lilies they smell so good when they open up. So sometimes I feel like it's easier to sketch the petal if you uh, make the center line and then uh, draw it on both the sides. So now I'll draw some of the green leaves so there are some long leaves hanging in the front and uh, some in the back. So I'll add a few more uh, flowers here which are in the background and a few more leaves and buds here. Sketching all these flowers and uh, leaves will take some time so at this point I'll add the music and I'll let you sketch along with me. You can also forward and go all the way uh, where I have completed the sketch and look at it. So here you go.
all right so here is the final sketch and let's start painting so I will start by painting the leaves and for leaves I'm uh, primarily using the sap green and then I'll be adding uh, other colors to give the variation so for example here uh, we are starting with the uh, um, with the sap green and I've added some lemon hue a yellow hue to it so make the leaves slightly lighter in color here and so now I'm adding some burnt sienna to it to make it darker and also a little more warmer so these leaves are uh, more in the shadow so I'm making them darker here I'm also adding a little bit of French ultramarine to make them even more darker so on this side there is uh, less light and uh, there's, uh, the, this leaf is under the flower so making it more darker and here I have added some French ultramarine and towards the tips again it's the color I'm making it a little lighter so we'll be mixing uh, some light and dark color and making it warmer and cooler so here again in the shadow I'm adding some more French ultramarine to make it more darker So we want to have a variation of uh, green color and look better and again on uh, this side light is less so I'm uh, making it a layer darker here. So you can follow the reference photo also that I have provided even though it's not the exact copy but you can uh, get an idea like how it is. So here again we have some shadows so I'm making the color darker. So wherever the color is dark uh, it's uh, I'm adding more ultramarine blue to it to make it more darker and adding another leaf so it will still be in dark shade because it's on the side where we have less light but since it's in the top um, it's still getting some light more light than the leaves which are in the bottom So I always love getting these lilies because they last for a long time and they smell so good. Uh, so I, I just love these. So every time I go to my local Trader Joe's, I always make sure to pick up a bunch from there whenever it's available. So we're, we're adding all the stems here. So I'm adding, it, adding them before uh, I add the water to the to the vase here. So I'll start adding some water here and for water I'm using a very uh, 
watery mixture of cerulean blue so we'll add a very light mixture around here Green is getting mixed to it, which is fine. I'll add some green to the bottom also and uh, make it a little darker. And now I'm adding some burnt umber. It's just how I see in the picture. I see some some dark that I can see through the vase, so I'm just adding it there. I'm just adding a very light color in the rest of the vase. And again in the bottom uh, it looks a little darker so I'm just mixing it and then uh, I'll add some a little more darker color to it. So now I'm mixing the color for our flower and uh, for the flower we are using uh, the rose madder and I'll be mixing uh, some alizarin crimson to it and then we'll also be using uh, some purple in it. So we'll start with a thick mixture of uh, rose madder and alizarin crimson and I'm putting a little bit of uh, the thick mixture at the bottom of the paddle where the, the paddles are connected. So I'm just depositing the color here at the bottom of the paddle. And then now I'll rinse the brush and uh, with damp brush I'm just pulling the color so again the brush is I'm cleaning the brush and just um, make it damp not very wet and uh, pulling the color so as you can see in the picture the color is uh, very dark at the bottom, but then as we go towards the end of the paddle, it's very light and it's almost uh, white in color. So it's same for the other paddle too. I'm just using a very clean brush, which is uh, slightly damp, and then I'm just pulling, pulling the color. Again, same process for the third leaf and uh, I'm just pulling this color and then the, the color will also slowly spread just using very clean brush to pull the color And 
I'm just adding a little bit of purple to the bottom as you can see in the picture it's much darker and purple color there so I'm adding that color and I will let it uh, mix with the rest of the color Now for the rest of the paddles, again the same process, you'll start with the thick mixture of um, rose madder and alizarin crimson and then we'll just pull that color slowly to the rest of the paddle using a clean damp brush. So we have two more paddles to go. I'll add some purple here too. I'm just looking at the picture and trying to put the color where I see in the picture. And I'm keeping this area um, uh, white in the middle where I'll, because in the picture if you see it's uh, more greenish yellowish so we'll add that color to it. But first we will do all of our petals and then we will add that color there so again the same process now I have a very clean brush and I'm pulling the color Just helping here the color to spread. So again the same process we are doing here, spreading the color slowly. I'm just picking up the colors, some of the colors because I see that uh, this paddle is more lighter in shade. Now I'll start adding some color in the middle which we see is a yellow greenish color. So I'm adding some uh, lemon hue and I'll add a little bit of sap green to it and I'm just mixing the color with the, with the paddles.
so now I will start adding uh, the flower in the back and uh, we are seeing the back of that flower and also the flower is slightly out of focus so making it uh, lighter uh, than the main flower and as you can see in the reference picture there are some green veins um, so we, I'm just adding them first just a very uh, light uh, mixture of uh, sap green and lemon hue and then again as I did it in the petals earlier I'm just adding a thicker mixture of uh, rose matter and alizarin crimson and then I will just uh, spread it using a clean brush So this flower will be much lighter in color as compared to our main flower. I'm adding more clean water. and adding some green uh, adding a stem here and also adding some green at the bottom which uh, spreads towards the petals and now we'll start painting a bud and if you can see in the reference picture it's more green and has very little amount of red in it so I'll start uh, painting it all green first it's a mixture of uh, lemon hue and uh, sap green and then I'll just add a little bit of red here some darker green color here and this darker green color as we did earlier too it's a sap green some ultramarine blue and a little bit of uh, uh, burnt sienna Just darkening that stem here. So for this flower bud, I'm using a lighter mixture of uh, our pinks that we have uh, mixed. It's a uh, alizarin crimson and rose madder. And as you can see in the reference picture, this uh, flower bud is uh, much lighter and has more pink in it. Sorry for the wrong camera angle. I'm uh, covering the picture here so here you can see more pink and yellow in it and now uh, I added uh, the dark green to it which is my sap green and uh, mixed with ultramarine and also a little bit of burnt sienna Adding more dark color here. As you can see, uh, it's on the top and bottom, it's more darker. And I added some more dark uh, red to it. So now we have one flower left in the background. 
and uh, so we will make it a little lighter than the front again like we did for the flower in the top so start by adding pink lines in the middle again it's the same mixture that we used earlier mixture of rose madder and uh, alizarin crimson and now we will add some green to it so I'm adding green in the middle in the petals also and with a lighter wash of pink making the petals and I'm just spreading it with the clean water now we'll add some more dark green to it draw the stem here I'll just add the dark green here and there with wondering if we need another stem here or right there is one more flower bud hiding in the back so we'll just paint that one so I added the green color in the middle like we did for the all other flower buds and then added red around it adding some more dark green to it and we have a leaf here and it's more in the lighter side because we're getting more light here so we'll paint it in the lighter green color which is the mixture uh, of sap green and uh, lemon hue and some shadow adding some more green here another hidden leaf here now I will start adding some background so I have some cerulean blue the same that we used in the vase earlier and adding a light wash in the background
some green. So we can use the colors that we have used earlier and we'll use the same colors for the background. Again, adding some glue, some more green here. Some more cerulean blue. If you wish, you can make the background darker. I'm just adding a very light wash here. I'm adding some brown here. Which is my burnt umber. This is a mixture of burnt umber and uh, burnt sienna. Tying it up with some more blue. Adding some shadow here. This uh, burnt sienna. And some cerulean blue. some splashes here just cleaning up some bigger ones I'll just add it to the background here Now with a thin point, I'm just adding some wings to the flower pattern.
this is my silver brush size 10 and it has a very thin point uh, so this is a very versatile brush I can uh, it's a big brush but I can use it uh, if, you, if I want to do something really delicate I'm just lightening it with the clean water here. And we'll add some lines to the leaves also. I'm just adding some shadow first. So we need a more darker mixture of green here to make the lines. So I'm adding a little bit more dark to the stems here and I think we are all done. Uh, thanks for um, watching it with me and I hope you will paint it soon and um, I hope to see you again. Thank you.